the amazing world of this messy ink page has come back to you. Seaside Cottage, part four. Don't you hate that cheesy intro music? I'm working on the pathway. It goes very far in depth down this page and the seaside is just way out there. So it's giving a nice, huge, a vast expanse of space. The horizon is up there. I have some plans of leaving the water absolutely crystal clear and just using color or even keeping it fairly white in the center as to reflect the sun and the brightness of the whole atmosphere. Um, the pathway is what I'm working on. Some of the little rocky hills up to the houses needs to be worked on. Um, there's probably a lot of stuff that I could touch up, but the more ink I put on this page, the darker it gets. So it's just, it's a, like, getting built up and, and there's been so many different things that are distracting me from drawing. And one of them was a rotten garage roof made of cedar shake shingles. And I had to basically scrounge around town and outside of town to find all the parts to put it back together and redo it. Um, the roof was over 30 years old. And then my toilet was overflowing several times in a row. And I definitely have a flooded wash machine downstairs that's leaking onto the floor. And there was fires all around my house. So the air quality went up to pink level, which was not good for me. I have some lung issues. And there's a just a ton of stuff that was going on over and over again. Late bill, um, crank calls about wanting to, you know, get my information in my bank account. And that was so annoying. And issues with basic pets and kids and my health. And so finally, now. So I'm trying to get back to drawing. Kind of de-stress, relax, work on this pathway. It is excessively high-pitched bump on this pathway. It doesn't need to be that high-pitched. It could have been a lot smoother, especially if people are going up and down the pathway. And I can temporarily fix that. Um, a, with color and on dark shades, and B, with um, finishing up the sides and just getting the eye focused on the overall movement of the whole texture of the imagery. So how do I say that so everybody can understand? Um, the whole image needs to catch your eye and your eye needs to be actively looking and moving over the whole page. So whatever I'm doing in this one spot should reflect or direct you to the next spot. Your mind should be curious as to where these hills flow, um, how people get up and down the hills, where's the stairs, where's the houses, where's the textures. This house has large rocks, this house has gravel, this house has uh, grass or some kind of plant textures. I do not have a phone tripod, my bad. And lots of different things need to happen here. And uh, once, once I <laughs> slow down and focus and get myself back on track, I will be able to move on to the coloring portion. I do not know if I will color this with a tracing sheet over the top of it and then take that into Photoshop and layer them like that. Or if I'm going to make a photocopy of this and color it directly on the paper or if I'm going to scan it and uh, ink it with marker. I, there could be different options. Uh, I could take it completely into Photoshop and just layer the ink on top of a colored option. I can almost record my drawings and colorings on Photoshop. I was using some kind of gaming platform recording um, 
small program, but it doesn't quite get uploaded into OpenShot free source. So I can't get NVIDIA gaming source game recording to record my screen of just me coloring on Photoshop and put it in open source, open shot video editing. So I don't have the right words to describe all this crap. I just like to do stuff. Um, that's about where I'm at. So texturing the buildings here and there, finishing some roofs, um, some of the hills up to the buildings, working on the pathway, um, ignoring the ocean or the sea or the gulf. I guess it is a gulf. Working on some stairs, a uh, little bit of texturing around windows. It's pretty much the main goal. The rest of this is a more complicated coloring project. So I need to be careful how much detail, <laughs> too late, I put into the entire image. But it's, it's a lot. This image has gotten more complex and more tricky to figure out how to color. So I guess lesson learned, um, don't over ink your page. Start with a sketch, um, ink, in only portions of the area with texture, not the entire area. Assume that the texture will transverse with colors into the area when colored and shaded. You don't have to ink everything. Things will go a lot better if you don't have to ink everything. You just, you know, pick the main, the main corners that you gotta take care of and the rest of it should fall in line. Eventually, the pathway will look different and separate from the hills that are going up to the houses. Um, it will be more solid, flat textured, hard stone pathway. Now I'm using cross hatching and I hate cross hatching. Um, on these buildings far, far away. And that's okay, because I don't have to look at that for very long. I'd rather see multiple types of texturing than just cross hatching. To me, it's just, you know, people are crossing out what they're doing. They're making an X on it. I don't like cross hatching. Other people, they might be able to cross hatch just fine. And great, good for you, cookies and treats. I don't care. I don't like cross hatching. Here I'm making up a new flag. Um, this one is the tomb of where Christ was, who resurrected. I'm gonna have a dark blue sash, um, kind of a sandy tan, this white or baby blue sky with a white rock here. Um, it could be dark gray rock. And then uh, at the top, a gold, a gold band. Um, I, I would like this to be the new flag of all believers in Christ. Um, this, this should be like the hubbub. I don't know what I did for this coat hanger here on the side that's holding the flag up. I'm really disappointed in myself. Why is there a coat hanger on the wall? This is not appropriate for holding a flag, but okay. So back to putting grass around the pathway. And let's ruin this window. I'm gonna come over here and ruin this window. Look at this, it'll happen real quick. Don't blink. Wait, the camera's not focused. It's even worse. Yes, excellent. Unfocused camera. This, this all needs to change. I gotta get me a new camera set up. So it's not so irritating to me. I'll actually want to watch my own video and do the voiceover for it. Right now I hate this because the camera's is like, like the road runner on energy drinks. Like don't. Um, down here is a wall that keeps the sea from crashing over it. 
I got multiple types of inking pens to use. Um, lots of different options. So you can test this out. It definitely works. It's much smaller than the pilot pen I was using. And uh, it'll work for very far away details. Far, far away. Yes, lots of houses, lots of buildings. Most of it um, stucco wall, or could be stone wall underneath and stucco on top. Whatever makes the town great. Okay. Okay, so now I want to put some wood texture on these little window framework. And I suppose there's glass in the window holes, I guess. Probably not. I mean, why would there be? But you're by the seashore, you can make glass. There's sand. Get a kiln. Ta-da. And... A little bit more texture on these buildings that are way back over there. Down the block and the pathway. We'll finalize all the inking and go over it and talk about it. And then begin planning the coloring process.